Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Tom back here with another video. Today, we're gonna be going over something just a little bit different. So, I have a, I've had a lot of people hit me up. Ty, what playbook do you run? Even though I already have that, um, <laughs> I've already had a video on that, but a lot of people wonder that. Guys, I will always run the Bucks playbook. But here's the, here's the thing behind it. I don't use the Bucks playbook unless the people run a 2-3 zone. So make sure you have this Bucks playbook if you want to take my tips on how to beat this 2-3 zone. But the first thing you guys have to do, 1 through 4 have to have range extender. If what you want to work, 1 through 4 have to have range extender if you want to break a zone uh, with efficiency. Now you can find some ways around it by only having your 1 through 3 um, and then kind of man maneuvering your 3 and 4 depending on if they go to limitless range or if they don't go to limitless range. Because a lot of times um, it depends on who's in the game to who goes where at on the court. Um, but as you guys see, Giannis has range, T-Mac has range, Reddish has range, and AK has range. So if I go 5 out, it's going to be impossible for this 2-3 zone to stop me. Before we get started, I'm just going to go over a couple of things to look at when breaking down a 2-3 zone. The first thing, when you get in your 5 out, you need to be patient. Patience is the biggest thing, the biggest piece of advice I can give to you. You got all 24 seconds to work with. Don't throw any scares. That's where people in zones thrive. When you throw a scary, they get a steal and transition hoop the other way. So be patient. Got to be patient and just look for those deep hashes. That's what you're looking for, but in a different way. I will explain it later on the video. You're looking to kick out from the inside out. Um to those guys standing at the hash mark in your five out for a wide open three and that leads me to the last thing you got to know how to hop step and how to hop step efficiently because when you get in the lane if you hop step the defense collapses completely around you without further ado let's hop right into the game plan so when you go into your offensive settings against the two three zone it's going to be the normal okay you're going to go you're going to select this right here which is fifth Fizz 64 down B. You're going to assign that to your point guard. And that's really what's going to be the main attack against the zone defense. So you guys see, I click triangle, put it on my Giannis. I still get in my freelance just in case I never get my five out in a transition setting. But that's what to what to really look for against the zone. you got to make sure you go into your offensive settings. You select Fist 64 down B and, and, and put it on your point guard. All right, so this is a play. I see he's, but he's been in zone for an extra possession, for, for a possession already. So I see he's in zone. I go to Fizz 64 down B. Now just off rips, what to look for when you initially see this 2-3 zone? Where do you want to attack from? So if you're Giannis, you want to get right into the middle of the floor because if one of his two defenders are going to have to come to the middle of the floor, you might have an easy dish to the wing for a three. I go to the middle of the floor. As you guys can see, I could dot AK right now because he cannot physically guard him with Andre Karolinko, um, with Cam Reddish, but he rotates up with Jonathan Isaac. I see that, so I'm just going to keep attacking. Keep attacking. Get pretty deep in the paint because that's where you want to get. You want to get a paint touch. Once I'm here, I could have tossed it to T-Mac for an easy three because once you once you get in here, I basically got three people on Giannis right now. I make the easy pass over to Cam Reddish, and then you see once this happens, look at where his Cam Reddish goes. Watch his Cam Reddish. He's over there in good position. Boom. Once it hits corner, it goes all the way over. So the only thing guarding the opposite wing is if he rotates with Jonathan Isaac. He doesn't there. That's an easy green light. Same thing here off the inbound. I immediately go to my five out. You guys can see my spacing isn't good right now because Kareem, for some reason, cuts to the middle. T-Mac is get, just getting spaced out. But now we're getting in it. Hop step into the middle of paint. Look at this. Look at all of his guys besides his only user, Jonathan Isaac. Every, all the, the rest of his four guys are in the paint. I could throw it to Kareem for a layup. I could actually go up with Giannis and I'm going to get a layup. I could dish it to Cam for a three. Or I could throw it out to T-Mac for a wide open green light. Here's another situation just off the inbound. I call five out. I'm going to the middle with Magic. Magic's going to follow me wherever I go as long as I'm on this side of half court. Okay, so he's gonna follow me wherever I go. I know that T Mac's coming out to the wing. It's a, it's all about time. And if I throw it to T Mac right now, it's gonna be a wide open three. Um, but he reads that. He actually read that really well. I thought I was gonna throw it to him on the first one. I outsmarted him. His magic comes back over. I dot T Mac for a wide open three. In this next possession, we're still in our five out. That doesn't hurt anything. That pass right there does not hurt anything because his mellow's already up there. I just gotta make his defense think. This is where the zone can kind of get a little. A little weird once you go into a post if you hop step into the middle a lot of times guys want to down screen for each other so that's gonna happen sometimes but you just got to be patient because even if this happens and your spacing gets messed up you're still gonna have that guy on the hash you're still gonna have good enough spacing and people are still gonna collapse on you and look at that AK with a wide open green light 
your main goal on, on every possession when they run a zone should be to get a wide open three. And that could happen by, by hitting the pass, hitting the hash on the initial pass, or getting in the lane. When you hop step in the lane, it's almost impossible to defend. Um, so just be patient. You get into the lane eventually. Look at that. Hop step. Look at every one of his guys. Like I said, besides the guy he's controlling in Jonathan Isaac, everybody else is surrounding Giannis. Everybody. Look at this. Just absolutely ridiculous. I'm getting quadruple teamed in the paint right now with Giannis. I got Cam Reddish standing wide open. And just like that, it's a he, he stepped in for a long two. This is a possession. I didn't get an early look. We were working uh, pretty hard to get a good look. I, I see a gap, I attack it. If you hop step in the lane, look at it. Look at the lane right now. All four of his blue jerseys, besides the guy he's controlling, is in the paint right now. All four of them. Now, you guys see on my end, I got Will standing under the hoop. Josh Smith, I don't know who he's trying to screen. But still, we got T-Mac wide open here. He had already rotated a little too far with uh, Dr. J trying to get the bait. And that's just an automatic green light first few clips we went through I dotted him up on the perimeter now I'm trying to show kind of a different aspect I'm getting in the lane as you guys can see look at all of them look at this man this is what it's supposed to look like with the proper spacing this is this is outstanding I could throw to any one of my guys right now and shoot a wide open three any one of them I have all five of his blue jerseys in the lane right now all five of them kick it out to Will he does shoot away but he gets it to go this possession is another example of what just happens when you get into the lane against the 2-3 zone. My spacing's good. I have Giannis, which is a perfect guy to break it down. I get into the paint. Just look at it. Three of his bodies are in the paint. I can throw it to Kareem for a wide open three. I see T-Mac over in the corner. Just a absolute great pass for a green light. It's going to be another great example. I call my five out again. We're getting our spacing down. You see Giannis has a straight line drive to that to the hoop. You got to make sure you hop step. Hop step is so important because once you hop step, look at Cam Reddish. He dives in. The only guy that's going to stay on the perimeter is the guy that they are user, in, user controlling. If he was user in controlling like Cat, for example, here, Magic would be in the lane too. It's over with. I got so many different options. I'm patient with it. Kick out to AK for a wide open three. So this is one of going to be one of the last examples I give. Same thing. I get into the paint. He thinks right now that I'm going to go opposite wing to AK. He thinks because everything else is guarding besides the opposite wing. So watch. He's going to switch on to Jonathan Isaac, rotate up there, um, and then he leaves Cam Reddish wide open. Because people, you can't control all five people in your zone. You can only control one. So as you guys can see, right when he right when he switches to Jonathan Isaac here, watch Carmelo Anthony. He switches. Look at Melo. He just goes right in. Easy kick out to Cam Reddish for a wide open green light. This is the final example I'm going to give. The final one um, against the 2 3 zone. A lot of times, if you got a guy on the top with Limitless, they forget about him. So I'm going to go deep hash here, just like a normal deep hash rim run. Called my five out already. Look at his magic. His magic doesn't think I'm going to throw it up to Giannis. There's no way. He lacks one second. Um, and Magic's out of the picture. Magic is completely out of the picture right now. The only guy I have wide open right now is Giannis. I make the easy read up to Giannis for a wide open three ball. I'm just going to hop into a couple minutes of gameplay here to kind of show you guys what to look for um, when somebody does run a 2-3 zone. Like I said, you go into play selection, you a quick fist, uh, 64, 5 out, um, and then you're going to really go into the point freelance just in case you need it. Okay, I get I right away equip the point freelance get into my um, my setting now if this happens you guys saw Giannis at, at the wing this is where if you run five out you're gonna have to be careful because sometimes your guys do not go to the right places as you guys saw Giannis is at the wing and he can't shoot so that first possession I saw Giannis went to the wing so to prevent that I'm going to call the five out through Giannis so now you guys are going to see my guys the right guys going to the wing that's really what you want to see over to D Wade. That's fine. We got all possession. Like I said, patience is is perfect. You need patience when you play this this game. You really do. Get it to the high post. Over to D Wade. We're fine. We still got a lot of time to work with. That's the wrong icon. But look, just like that. Like I said, it's impossible to guard for the whole possession. Same thing. I want to get the ball to Giannis. I want to get the ball to Giannis since he's running this zone, and then we can dot him up. You know what I'm saying? Giannis can dot him up. Hop step in the lane. He has, he has no options. 
He has no options. When you hop step in the lane, you see both corners collapse, and he really has no options but to give up the wide open three pointer. I want to show you one final possession here. One final last possession just to kind of put belief in you guys. So I'm coming up the court. I want to get it into the middle because look at his magic. His magic has a decision. That's what. That's the final possession I wanted to show you right there. He has no choice right there. He has to guard Giannis which left D-Wade wide open on the wing. Ayo, right, that is going to be it today for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a comment down below. Also, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new as we are on the road to 8K. Bottom line is, you do need the Bucks playbook. You need to just really learn how to be patient offensively. Not even just the first to 2-3 zone, but just in general. Just learn how to be patient. And against the 2-3 zone, you really need to utilize that hop step in the lane because that's really what draws all the defenders in the paint and you have a wide open kick out three i do hope you guys like the video as always i, I love y'all man and have a blessed night